Hey, welcome to Open Discussion with Mosa. So I just started my cargo van business in 2023. And I'm also starting my YouTube channel. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Like, you know, I worked with a couple of companies. Some of them, you have to onload and offload packages and freight. And some of them, you don't. They use the pallet, uh, the pallet jack or the forklift or whatever the case may be. But uh, make a long story short, you have to pick what suits for you. There's a lot of companies out there, but um, all is not always what it seems. That's what I realized since I've been in the business. And um, I noticed that like between January, uh, February, and uh, March, I heard that the market is really down. And like, you know, it's really been tough lately. I'm not going to lie. It's really been tough. Um, and I noticed that a lot of brokers, they don't like working with uh, new MC uh, uh, cargo van users or Sprinter van users. Uh, they want to wait till you have like at least a year in, in order to start giving you freight. So that's why most people tend to work with dispatchers, you know, and um, working with dispatchers is kind of tough too, because everybody got their hand in a pot. But once you find a good dispatcher, you'll be good to go. I mean, and then you got to know how to know how to give your rate per mile because you want to make sure you're able to get a load. You don't want to bid too high or you don't want to bid too low. So that way you're running only for gas. You get what I mean? But um, it kind of been tough because I've been doing over the road. So I've been driving everywhere, whatever the case may be. And um, and I've been living in my car as well. You know, I'm not I'm a young lady. So it's kind of hard for me, like living in my car and stuff. But some way, somehow I I just I try and, and it's, it's like it's working or whatever the case may be. And if you do know somebody in different states that you go to, you could crash at their house. That's the benefit about it or whatever. And then on top of it, you get to sightsee. But um, like I said, the cargo van business is kind of tough, man. Like just working and um, driving and stuff like that. And you got to find loads. I mean, you're bidding on loads all day until you get a, a load. Then you're able to move or whatever. And sometimes you got to drive 17 hours. It depends on where you're going. If you, if, you don't, if you don't like driving, this is not a job for you. If you don't like driving. If you can't take the up and down with a market, this job is not for you. Um, through my experience, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I just started. So it's a lot of things that I'm learning and I learned a lot of lessons. And a lot of times when you don't want to take a load with a broker or, or, uh, uh, I'm sorry, with a dispatcher, because I haven't been working with brokers yet because my MC number is fairly new. But like when you're working with these dispatchers or whatever, make sure you bid on something that's reasonable for you and, and, you know, and them too, but you know, mainly you or whatever the case may be, because you don't want to take a cheap freight or, or you probably can. It all depends on the person because I don't watch nobody taking cheap freight because a lot of people complain like, oh, these people taking cheap freights, but I really don't care about that. But, um, all I'm just saying is that when you do decide to take a, a, a load, make sure you bid on something that's reasonable for you. Because once you get that load and you're, and you drive in and, and you're going to try to renegotiate re your bid, it's not going to happen. And sometimes they even fire you over that type of stuff. Like when you, when you get a load and you be like, Oh, I can't take this load. They will fire you over that. So you got to be very mindful about what you decide to bid per mile and stuff like that. Um, I just came from Georgia to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Now I'm in Birmingham because I had a deadhead here because I noticed that when I was getting a lot of loads for me to bid on, they're mainly in uh, Montgomery, Alabama and uh, or Birmingham. And another thing is too, you want to make sure you stay in out the dead zones as well. Like it's a lot of places like, like Florida, I'm from Florida, but it's a lot of places in Florida like it's so hard to get a load out of there. They're not really paying anything for those type of freight. So it's a lot of dead zone cities and stuff like that. So you got to be careful of that too. You got to read the market and know where you're going and, and where you're heading. And right now it's winter time. So it's like very cold and it's like very slow. So I advise anybody that's getting into the car, a cargo van business, do your research because I mean, it's, 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 it seems good, but you got to, be mindful about what you're getting into because there's a lot of people or other people that I talk to saying they're not getting any loads, how they in debt, they got to take out loans and stuff like that because it's kind of tough. It's, it's not as what people make it seems on YouTube. I'm not one of those YouTubers that's going to sit here and lie to you and say that, oh, it's just peaches and cream. 
as soon as you get on, you're going to be making all this money and all this stuff. It's really not like that, bro. Like, I could tell you the truth right now. Sometimes you will go days without even a load. Like, when, when I was in Florida, I had a deadhead all the way to Atlanta, Georgia, just to get a load. And I swear, I was in I was in Florida for like a whole week before I even got a load. And I didn't even get a load, matter of fact. I had a deadhead out of Florida. So, like I said, man, some days you get low, some days you don't. Like, this week was kind of rough, man. Like, I literally got a load Monday, didn't get a load Tuesday. Got a load Wednesday, didn't get a load Thursday. Now I'm here on, on Friday, and, I, and I'm still waiting, and I still didn't get a load. Mind you, today is, uh, I believe, January uh, 13th, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, January, no, January 12th. Today is January 12th, 2024. And when I tell you, I've been sitting here since Friday. And normally when you get a load on Friday, it takes you, they normally give you loads from Friday to Monday. So when you get the load Friday, you have to deliver it on Monday. So if I don't get a load today, I'm going to be stuck in Birmingham, Alabama for a whole weekend. And that really sucks. So I was thinking to myself, well, maybe I should do something active far as like uh going to planet fitness and working out <laughs> oh yeah that's another thing too if you're gonna do over the road you want to make sure you get planet fitness that's the best gym i'm i'm with because a lot of the people that's over the road go go with planet fitness because they're in all 50 states it's always a planet fitness around no matter what state you're in so it'll be more easy if you just go with planet fitness if you do decide to do over the road um as well you have to have all your paperwork. You got to make sure you have your MC number. You got to have to make sure you have your commercial insurance. I mean, I have progressive. I wouldn't say progressive is the best, but I mean, that's who I'm with because I do have personal insurance with progressive too. So that kind of gave me a discount and a leverage a little bit. So I'm paying currently like 1200 and change on, uh, every month for progressive. And, um, I am doing a, uh, I'm, am leasing my vehicle, not leasing, but you know, I bought my vehicle at $20,000 and like, I pay like $515 a month for the van. So I kind of looked up when it came to the numbers on the van or whatever the case may be. But the most expensive thing about this thing is your insurance. And if you do have an apartment that you stay at and stuff like that, you got to make sure you take care of your rent and all your, all your other expenses. You know what I'm saying? If you have a vehicle and all that other stuff. But um, I can honestly say that if you do decide to jump into this business, make sure you do your research because it's not as what it seems. As a lot of these YouTubers make it seem, it's not like that. And I'm not hating on nobody. I'm not knocking nobody. But I'm just telling you the real reality of stuff. And I've been doing this for like three months now. And I can tell you it's been up and down. I actually left the post office to do this, um, this type of line of work. And, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's really up and down or whatever the case may be. Not all the time there's loads or whatever the case may be. And you just got to be able to have patience and, and sacrifice and keep a positive attitude. You know, um, I advise you when you first jump in a game, apply to as many dispatches as you possibly can, as well as brokers, if they do accept you, because most of the time they reject you. If your MC number is not up to six months to a year. They will reject you off the rip. They won't even look at you, not one bit. Um, so that's the problem that I've been having too as well.